so we arrived in Nimbin last night, no, this morning, 4 a.m. <laughs> and then now, yeah, we're just exploring the town and whatnot. So different to anything we've seen yet, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's proper, proper Vietnam style, this. There's like rice fields everywhere, big tall mountains, and it's not raining because the previous place was just rain, rain, rain. Blasting around on scooters. Yeah, and now we're about to climb this big fucking mountain. About to start the big hike up now. I believe it's 500 steps. But I don't think we're wearing the uh, appropriate shoes. <laughs> Sandals. That's 100 steps down. 400 more to go. <laughs> oh. Made it to the top of the first part. <laughs> That was time, but it was worth it. The view's absolutely insane. Crying oh, knackered. Surreal, bro. Surreal. Currently getting a nice little boat tour through Nimbin. Hello. Gonna take us around all the popular sites. So mm -hmm. far, so good. Proper like relaxing. Just flowing across the water. Hello. <laughs> That's really impressive. Yeah. Did it take you long to learn? Oh, About seven kilometers. What? And you do that with your feet? Really? Does it get tiring? Yeah. We literally climbed all the way to the top up there. And when we were up there, you could see the boats coming along this river now. Now it's just now it's just going down the river. But now it looks like we've got to go to a tiny little hole in the cliff. Uh, maybe in a blanket bugger. I think I'm gonna hit my head. How are we meant to fit through that? Here we go. Very beautiful. Holy smoke. So, what's your favourite thing? Uh, so yeah, so thinking back. The Dark Cave was pretty damn cool, wasn't it? Yeah, the Dark Cave um, was good. The gun range? Yeah, the gun range was fun. No, the Dark Cave activity wise, I don't know how I like. What else have you done? Um, it's hard to think back to it. Yeah, the Coochie yeah, Tunnels, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. The dirt bikes was good. But I think for me, like my biggest thing hasn't like my favourite thing I've done so far isn't so much an activity. It's uh, it's the friends we made in Hoi An. Yeah. Like, we barely filmed in Hoi An because we're just like on the beach, just making like friends and just chilling. So it was actually kind of nice to take the break from filming. filming and just like just like connecting with people. There's actually no footage from Hoi An. Really. Literally no footage.
together so we're not starting from the bottom basically. But, and then we're going to get to the top in about five hours. Yeah. And then cable cut back down, boy. Yeah, so it's going to take, did you say it's going to take, yeah, it's going to take about five hours. Yeah, five hours or so. Um, we've just got the bus here. We had a pretty early one last night because we knew we had a big climb. You went hiking yesterday, didn't you? I did, it was good. Met some locals, they took us around. Yeah. Pretty cool to be So now we've got our <laughs> tour guide who's just gonna guide us through this jungle all the way up to the biggest mountain in Vietnam. Or it's not just Vietnam actually, it's uh, Indo. I have to put it on the, on the screen. But, um, but no, yeah, I'm looking forward to do this, although I haven't hiked in a long, long, long time, so I don't know how I'm going to feel doing this. But yeah, what about you, Jimmy? I'm just ready to go. Actually. Yeah? Hopefully we can get some views at the top of Yeah. To be fair, the clouds are breaking up, so I'm hoping we get lucky enough to just get clear weather so at the top we can just see everything. Yeah, see how it goes. There's one. Hot, 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 hot. Fuck. How are you finding it? Do you do this every day? Yeah. Every day? Every day, but sometimes trekking down to the village. What do you do when you get back to the village? Sleep? Um, eat. I'm my home there. Yeah? You yeah. eat a lot? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a family? Yes. Kids? Yeah, two kids. And two kids? Yes. Bloody hell. How, how old are you? I'm 26 now. 26? Oh, same age as me. Same age as us. Oh, really? What are you yeah. guys doing with your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently this yellow water is drinkable and John's going to give it a little try. Oh, I'm with Johnny. Yeah, but... He's going to push in. How was it? Well, nice, bro. Well, nice? Refreshing? It's very yellow. When it's flat, it's okay. But every now and again, you get these massive steps. And it just wipes all your energy out. It's going to record the whole time. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. Because I thought it was a five hour trek, I kind of felt like it would be a slow decline. Fuck, how do I do this? <sighs> Never we made it to our first base camp. How high are we? About two, four, do you reckon? Two, three? About two, 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 three. Two, two, three, which is two Snowdens pretty much. Hello. Little baby, like that. Like that down, like near enough what we find, and then to go back up the other side again. There's the tip, right up there. How do you compare this to the other mountains you've done? Uh, no, it's just it's definitely harder in terms of because where we started, yeah, like once to the UK, yeah, you're uh, you're already at a higher altitude, so breathing is definitely a lot harder. But in terms of seeing it, yeah, unreal. Decent. But one of the best. That's our end destination, but we've got to walk through here. Behind those clouds, like another ridge. Got to walk along all the way top there. And then our final destination, up there. Oh, oh mate, she gets carried off. Look at this view. You okay? Getting better and better. Getting the Welcome shot. to the jungle. Man, he stops every five minutes. I want to record the trailer. Mate, is that a concrete rail? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's getting seriously hard to vlog now. It's gone from zero to a hundred 
I'm just riding for the past hour. Johnny, how are you finding it? Dying. Dying. Me too. Got about another half an hour of this until we make it to the point where we can have lunch. And then there's like another hour on top of that to the summit. <sighs> Pan over five minutes. And then we've made it to the uh, lunch spot. But apparently, I thought it was an hour, but apparently it's another two and a half hours to the summit. And we've seen so many people turn around and go back down, but we're not going to do that, are we? Looks like we've made it to our lunch spot, finally. Thank God for that, because I'm absolutely starving. You are hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Spicy <laughs> match. Yes, yes. No one wants this last sack. We've had some food, feel rejuvenated, <laughs> perked up. Oh my god, got loads of energy. We're ready to do this final two and a half hour hike. Looking forward to it to be fair, getting to the top and having a beer. It's such a weird feeling now. We're completely above the clouds now, and when you look down, you just see a layer of clouds, and then when you look up, it's just Nothing but blue sky, it's so unbelievably nice. But I think we really got lucky today because the God was telling us that like, pretty much the past month it's just been crap weather, like just constantly in the clouds around here. So we definitely got lucky. There's the summit, about another 150 meters to go. So close now, we made it to the top but not to the flag. Another 300 or so steps and then we've made it. Damn, the view up here is crazy. Fuck. Smart, what are you getting? Croissant. Croissant. Maybe ice cream. Is that the best thing you've ever tasted? And, and, and we're close, a lot closer than back there. A few more steps, mate, and then we're nearly there. Let's do it. We've done it pretty much. We love going down to go back up, like, don't we? Yeah, I know, we keep having to go down steps to go back up, and it is the most jarring thing ever. But, nearly there. There was a little cart to go up to the top and people were uh, contemplating it but I thought we made it this far. There's no way I'm cheating at the very end. It's so worth it though. So worth the six hour hike. Mate, look at that cloud just sticking up. How are you feeling, Timmy? It's yeah. We made it! Are you doing this climb tomorrow? Yes. How many times a week do you do it? Maybe four weeks. Maybe it's just four and five. Four or five days yes. a week? Yes. That's yes. crazy. 
That is... Can do it with us. No, 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 no. Okay. Once is enough for me. I think if you're going to do it, don't do the cable car. Just do the hike. It's worth, it's worth it. It's bloody hard, but when you get to the top, you get a real sense of achievement. So yeah, I'd recommend doing the hike. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.